Bonjour, I'm Sam Loveland. And I'm Angel Flores, and this is WPAC News for Tuesday, March 4th, 2014. Topping the news, the Freshman Seminar Program will continue next year during guided study. This program will serve as an ongoing orientation process that enables freshmen to become familiar with the policies, procedures, programs, and traditions at Oswego East. The program is looking for positive, outgoing, responsible sophomores and juniors to apply to be a Freshman Seminar Leader. You will gain leadership experience, 20 or more service hours, and great opportunities for resume building. The application can be found online on our school website and the deadline is March 31st. Juniors and seniors, you have one last opportunity to earn free t a free ticket to prom, senior brunch, or senior celebration by selling market day desserts. Students will also receive few free music downloads with dessert orders. Our goal is 500 desserts. For order forms and guidelines, please see Ms. Subi in room E39 or Ms. Kelvin in room F226. Orders and payment must be turned in by no later than Tuesday, March 11th. Orders will arrive Wednesday, March 19th in time for spring break. It seems other high schools and one college are using the hashtag Wolfpack Pride. So instead, to post to Instagram and Twitter, use hashtag OE Wolf Pride. LILAC, the League of the United uh, Latin American Citizens, is running a school supply drive this week. Drop off your new or gently used notebooks, pens, pencils, or other items at the bins located in the LRC, department offices, or student services. All collected supplies will be donated to underprivileged students in elementary schools in Brazil. Senior t-shirts are on clearance for $5. Pick one up at the Muffin Monday table or World's Finest Chocolate table this week. Abby Ragsdale is a sophomore on the bowling team, and she recently bowled a 300. Here's Zach with her now. 300 is a perfect score. How did you feel that that game was going and when you finished it? Um, the game was going good. Everybody was really happy for me. And uh, I just didn't want to psych myself out because that would have been embarrassing. Besides the perfect game, how did the rest of the season go? It went good. The team did really good and during the offseason. Well, we got all-conference, third in all-conference. And then I got all-conference as a freshman and now as a sophomore. How does it feel to have Mr. Hillman as both a coach and a teacher? Well, he like pushes you harder than like any other of the kids, but he's really like supportive of you and he helps you out a lot. Thank you for stopping by, Abby. Now back to the Anchor Desk. If you've read at least four of the Abraham Lincoln or Read for a Lifetime nominated books this year, stop by the LRC and let the staff know which titles you finished. It is time for all high school students across the state to vote for their favorites of the year, and the LRC staff will be sending out an invitation soon to their spring book breakfast. And now it's time for entertainment. Here is Brittany. March is Music in Our Schools Month. Today, today's fact is, this, is that studying music primes the brain to comprehend speech in a noisy background. Children learning, with learning disabilities or dyslexia who tend to lose focus with more noise could benefit greatly from music lessons. That's the latest in entertainment. Now let's turn it back to Sam and Angel. The first of three meetings for graphic students competing at Skills will be today at 2.30 in room B250. Attendance is mandatory. Failure to attend will result in your expulsion from Skills and the trip. Make sure you read the one book, one school divergent before the movie release on March 21st. There are still paperback copies for sale in the LRC for $10 and several copies for checkout. Once you've read the book, stop by the library to pick up your faction pin and enter into a drawing for even more prizes. If you're looking for community service opportunities, Boulder Hill Elementary School needs students to help with market day pickup. Churchill and Boulder Hill Elementary Schools need volunteers to help run their fun fairs. The Oswego Land Park District's annual Prairie Fest is coming in June. Come to Student Services for more information. The Oswego East National English Honor Society is currently accepting student applications for membership. Please pick up an application outside of E280 or find it on one of Ms. Howerton's website. Applications are also available for National English Honor Honor Society offers officer positions. All applications are due by Friday, March 21st, and now it's time for sports. Here's Kristen. Girls volleyball players, there will be a meeting on Tuesday, March 11th at 7 o'clock a.m. in E396 for summer and fall information. See Coach Thurwell with questions. Boys volleyball will have tryouts on Monday, March 10th from 2.45 to 4.45 in the main gym. Come try out for this fun and dynamic sport that is one of the fastest growing high school sports in the area. No volleyball experience is necessary. Just bring a bright attitude and desire to learn from a great group of coaches. Boys volleyball will also be holding their last open gym this Saturday, March 8th from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. in the main gym. 
Girls soccer tryout started yesterday and will go through tomorrow t from 2.45 to 4.45 after school in the main gym. That's the latest in sports. Now back to the Anchor Desk. That's today's edition of Wolfpack News. I'm Sam Loveland. And I'm Angel Flores. Join us again tomorrow on East TV Channel 16. Thanks for stopping by, Wolves, and have a great day.